Hey, Central Ohio, and last week's Connecting with COSI, you caught a glimpse of me on the high wire unicycle. Well, today I'm taking you along for the ride. This is the high wire unicycle. I'm going to have you sit and face me. And I'm wearing a skirt. <laughs> So the way this works is we're going to strap you in with a four-point locking harness. Okay. So you'll be nice and securely attached to the high wire. Go ahead and hold that right there for okay. me. Now, have you ever been on a seesaw before? Seesaw, yeah. Like in a playground, right? Yeah. So a seesaw is a type of machine called a simple lever. And that lever has a tilty point in the middle called a fulcrum. Okay. Now, what happens if you're on that seesaw with somebody who's a lot bigger than you? Um, I go up and they go down. Correct. Exactly right. And has anybody ever sat at the bottom and held you up in the air? Yes. Yes. My big brother used to do that to me all the time. <laughs> yeah. And you can wave your arms and legs. Yeah. But you can't create more force to push down and lift that other person up. Yeah. Right? And that's because they have more force than you. If you take that seesaw and turn it this way, now you have the high wire unicycle. The fulcrum is the wire. Okay. You're sitting at the top and down below, we have a 250 pound weight. That's more than I weigh. That's right. And so that's a counterweight that's forcing you, holding you up in the air. Okay. But it gets even better because that weight is actually twice as far from the wire, the fulcrum, as you are. The further you get from the fulcrum, the more force you have. So since it's twice as far, it's got twice the force. Okay. You would have to have 500 pounds of force to push down and lift that up. Okay. So you literally cannot tilt this. So I'm safe. You are absolutely right. safe. And unlike a real unicycle where the fulcrum is actually the ground, yeah. so you have to have some really good balancing skills so you don't flop over. Yeah. Here, the fulcrum's on the wire, so even if you wanted to flip this, you can't. Okay, good. That's good it's to know. It's easier than a real <laughs> unicycle. That's good to know. So let's get your feet in. Go yeah, ahead last in. time I was on this, this was a bicycle. <laughs> and I That's was 11. <laughs> So we've been in this building since 1999, and this unicycle has been a staple of COSI here at our current location. Pretty cool. All right, you ready to go? So do I have to pedal backwards? You are going to pedal backwards. All I'm right. going to open this gate behind you. What do I do with my hands? All right, so you can put your hands <laughs> right here, but remember how I said on the on the seesaw, you can wave your arms yeah. and nothing. you're not going to create more force? You can hold on if it makes you feel better, but yeah. you don't have to. It's you like can do whatever you want. Wave. So I'm going to pull you forward to undo this test. Okay. I'm gonna let you go. You're gonna go all the way to the pink lights at okay. the end. I'll tell you when you're there. Okay. The slower you go, because of inertia, if you stop in the middle or go slow, it's actually harder to pedal. So keep so pedaling. You go kind of fast. Okay. Don't stop in the middle. All right. Cool. I'll tell you when to stop. All right. All right. Three, two, one. Ugh. All right, we've got Monica on the high wire unicycle. You're doing a great job. Waving to your adoring fans. Keep going. You're almost there. All right, start coming forward. You're doing a great job. And that 250 pound counterweight keeps you perfectly balanced. Great job. Come to COSI and check it out for yourself on the unicycle. <laughs>